how does knowing why you are suffering make it a more bearable experience now if i know why i am suffering it makes me feel better i need to know why i need to know the cause i need to know the reason otherwise i may feel that i deserve something much better maybe this consequence has been misdirected into my life maybe it's meant for somebody else to experience all the planets the stars and the heavenly bodies they are all functioning in the universe and it is an automated system of self sustainability but you feel only your experience has reached you by mistake you think uh, don't you think that this sounds a bit absurd or you really believe that human life or rather your life is falls under a different system a system that is beyond or outside this universe see imagine the longest sand beach on the earth and uh, consider the tiniest speck of sand in this beach even this tiniest speck of sand is subject to the laws of the universe and it cannot act beyond or outside the laws of the nature so when we know say um, an asteroid is approaching here what do you think is more important to save the earth from the impact of the asteroid or to know why the asteroid is in the path of the earth both first you need to know how to save the earth and later you also need to know the reason behind this in order to avoid such things from recurring to revive normalcy in your life that becomes of the utmost priority in life and what is normalcy to maintain the natural state of happiness that is independent of everything else now your experience if it's unpleasant you need to get past it the scars may remain but you need to train yourself not to look at the stars scars because each time you look at the scars the pain would just come back to you a look at the scars is permissible only if you're sure that all the unpleasant memories would not rush back to you if you're sure that it would not cause you pain of any sorts now why does it bother you so much that you want to keep checking if the universe is doing its job right and you want to know the reason behind your suffering why are you so much bothered to see if god is doing his job right by allowing such things to happen in your life why do you think god is obliged to save you from anything that is caused by group consciousness are you not a part of the group now the more you try to move away from the group and the more you try to say that you are responsible only for your choices alone that's when it gets worse that's when it becomes all the more difficult for you to face the consequences of group consciousness you may think how can i be responsible for everyone's choices now you are responsible to the extent to which you exercise influence over others choices see you may influence others choices you may express your views and opinions vociferously with an intention to help the other person to make a better choice or you may choose to keep your views to yourself to not make an effort to influence the other person's choice at all not help the other person to make a better choice now knowing that god has been fair in the execution of his duties how does that ease your pain in any way knowing that everything is just gives you the confidence that when you do a good deed you would reap the benefits too so would you wait for such proof would you 
वेस्ट योर एंटायर लाइफ टाइम टेस्टिंग गॉड एंड वेट टिल यू आर अश्योर्ड ऑफ द बेनिफिट्स बी गुड एंड डू गुड जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ बींग गुड फॉर द सेक ऑफ नॉट हार्मिंग योर सेल्फ और अनादर for the sake of doing good to yourself and another that's humanitarian let's be human let god be god being human would help you get through the unpleasant experiences with more ease now whether god helps you or not is irrelevant you helping yourself you being good you doing good that's the best thing that can help you through a situation particularly an unpleasant situation so let's be human let god be god